Hello and welcome. My name is Gareth. This is my um, single player server. Now, uh, the first thing I want to say is why I'm doing this. I, uh, I decided I want to do a video, maybe for fun, or if people like it, to do more. But the problem was there are lots of good let's play out there. Uh, I'm dropping a few names, Lachlan from Minecraft Workbench, Hawthorne Jr, Minecraft Chick, Wolf21, all these, they do excellent um, let's play videos. So I didn't want to really move into that kind of field since it's pointless because there were so many done. So what I decided to do was a video just basically based on something I've built on my server but uh, explained in layman's terms in a very basic way because I know when you listen to somebody who's a master builder explain how they built something or if you're somebody who who is an expert at redstone wiring you know it can get confusing listen to their explanation of how you do something so I'm going to explain it in a more basic way and uh, if you like it great I'll do some more if you don't never mind a little chalk it up to experience so let's go okay now I'm going to show you my gravity mob trap gravity simply because gravity does the killing no lava a little bit of water otherwise gravity uh, this is it yes I know this is very messy and I could clean it up, I know a better way now of wiring this, but as I said it's for my single player server so I'm lazy, although if you do comment and tell me to clean it up, I will clean it up and I'll make it better. Okay I put some stairs here so I can have a look if uh, the mobs are ready to fall, as you can see the sun's there, you can hear them, a bit closer, sounds busy. <laughs> you say it's a fancy thing. Okay. So we go back down. A long way. Okay, and what we do is we flick the switch and this is the fun part. Woo! There you go. And mobs behind push out the mobs in the front and it just how it continues the skeletons will still try and shoot you see missed again spiders nothing survives it's something a little different which i quite like and as you see the drops soon gather and uh, it just keeps going, they'll just they'll just drop for a while, then close the door, let a respawn happen, you know, then you go up the ladder, check again, flick the switch, and uh, there we go. Basically we know how this works, well most of you do I'm sure, redstone wire leading up one way, connected to one door, redstone wire leading up to another door, um, flick the switch, both Click the switch and it affects both doors. Click it again. Both doors close. And I'm free to go and pick up all this. Very nice. Thank you very much. As you can imagine, it gathers pretty quickly. Hello, sheep. Get some of that. I actually have built about four different grinders. Or can I say I'm a bit of a addict, I suppose, to killing mobs. Uh, that is a grinder. We know what that is. Tower. Uh, I'll explain that in another video. I also have a grinder there. You can just see the lava over there. So that's another one. And I have one in there, which is just water. Uh, that leads down to a zombie mob spawner. 
so yeah I've got plenty of uh, things uh, over there I've got some castle building doing and quite, yeah it's quite busy now if I look have we got anything ready to drop okay no, I haven't brought my redstone white torches I'll uh, I'll show you soon in a minute how you can make this all this a lot more look a lot better in fact for a second I'm going to cut and I'll just get what I need be right back hello I'm back uh, I'm just going to quickly explain I'm sure you've seen this before but I'll show you quickly I'm just going to explain how to do the wiring in a lot better way uh, blocks on top of each other place it boom take out every other block like this and if you put a red stone torch there there and there oh I'm gonna miss no I didn't uh, if I come here I can show you see torches on torches off torches on that will carry on up and up and up and up and up on off on off as long as you make sure that the last block is off and then when you flip the switch they'll all change to their opposite state so then that'll go off that'll go on that'll go off and so on and so on so the one that was off at the top will now switch on and that will then lead with redstone wire to the door and um, that will open the door for you so instead of having all this um, all this crazy chaos here you'd actually just have these going up and a small piece of redstone wire connected to the door a lot easier and uh, I could do that like I say I will if you want me to just comment and say Gareth clean up your act for God's sakes man clean up your act and uh, I'll do what I can okay let's just have a quick look sun's going down let's see if anything comes through let's just open the gates again or the doors ah. Is anything coming? Oh. Sorry, I've got a cold. That's why I'm snuffling a lot. Doesn't look like anything's coming. They will stay on that step for ages. There is. I'll, I'll explain that when I show you how this works. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to. Well, it's going to be dark anyway. So I'm going to put this onto peaceful, so I can show you how it works on the inside okay let's go Some of you will probably know how this looks or works. I did not, let me repeat that again, I did not create this myself. Well, I built this, but I did not get the idea myself. So I'm not taking credit for the idea before anybody tells me. Um, I'm just showing you how what I've done, how I've built it, and uh, this is what works for me. There are different ways of doing it. I'm sure you can find it. down so we can see Oops. Two. now the thing is I didn't want to put too many water channels into here because the problem is that that gives you less spawning area and of course the main the most important thing about this is the mobs and we need them to spawn so um, all I did was put a few channels in, random places. They're not strategically placed or anything, just random. Long one here, a couple of short ones, medium length. And I have two main channels here, to the right and to the left of the door over there as well. 
and uh, they deliver the mobs to the to the door. This, these channels are only meant just to push them forward. Because usually a mob, if it gets caught in a channel and then jumps out, it won't walk all the way to the back again. It will stay around this area and eventually, hopefully, fall into the channel at the front. So that's what this is, does, and we've got plenty of spawning area, as you can see. Plenty of room that can spawn all the way through it. Here's the channel on the other side. The glass is there basically just so I can view how many are at the door and whether it's time to open up. And uh, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Oh, gee, I'll, I'll use this one. Right. Mob gets caught in. Moves forward. Comes into this channel. Now, if you look, the opening at the door is quite wide. That's so I can get more mobs in. It's about four blocks wide. And about and two back. So I can get quite a few mobs in this area, as you saw earlier. They get delivered onto this step here. And if you look at the current of the water, it's pushing all mobs towards the step. So, of course, the next mobs push the front mobs out and they fall. And they die. And I just wait at the bottom to pick everything up. So, there you go. That's all it is. It's about, what, one, two, three, four, about seven, six or seven blocks high. You know, the most. I think, if I remember right, it's about 35 by 35. The actual dimensions of it. Um, that's about it. And it does its job rather nicely. Let's pick all these torches up so the mobs can have their darkness back. And also it's just good to see them fall a long way and die. I just like something different rather than the your normal um, lava traps and grinders and you know, things like that. This is different and it works. It's a bit dark now, sorry about that. But you can see. So there you go, that's my gravity mob trap. And to give you one last demonstration, I said that no mob to survive this, but neither do I. <coughs> Bye for now. Remember, if you want to see anything else, or you want me to build anything, or describe anything else to you, let me know. And uh, if I do pick you, I will give your name a shout out. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.